feels great to be back. You know, it's back with the same team I started with, Vermont Sports Car. As far as a driver in my career, to be able to come back and now be a future part of Subaru's history, it's, uh, it's very cool. Subaru to me, growing up as a kid, you know, I, I knew the Group E era days with Audi and Peugeot and, and Lancia and, and then we move into the Group A days, which was where Subaru really got involved and that's when Colin eventually won his, his title in the World Rally Championship. So, you know, I kind of associate those two eras as two different things, but the Group A era and Colin is probably the most influential part as far as me really getting involved and wanting to be a rally driver. And so being able to meet him and drive against him in an equal car and actually, you know, compete twice and be on the podium with him, you know, at the first X Games was really cool. And then the second time actually head to head against him and, and pressured him into rolling his car, you know? And that's something he admitted to me, which just blew me away. So those things are things that I'll, I'll never forget because I never dreamed that like my career in rallying would take me to that level and all the other levels that I've, I've been able to achieve. So there's been lots of ups and downs of that, but as far as a driver in my career to be able to come back and now be a future part of Subaru's history, it's, uh, it's very cool. So very happy to be doing that and hopefully I can uh, put this thing on the top of the podium, if not close a couple times. I mean, as a race car driver, I, I really like working with these great brands, whether it's Ford, whether it's Subaru. Oh, I'm going to be racing a Porsche this year. It's, it's actually very cool to work with the best tool for what I'm going to do. When I left Subaru at the end of 2009, I actually wanted to go race in the WRC, and Ford was the best opportunity at that time to go do that, and they had a great rallycross program. So it was difficult you know, making such a switch at that time because my entire career at that point was all in the Subaru. I started racing in the Subaru, had my first national win in a Subaru, had first two Gymkhana videos in the Subaru. So it was quite a big deal for me to leave and go do these other things. You know, but now it feels great to be back. You know, it's back with the same team I started with. Vermont Sports Car runs uh, the Subarus for Subaru of America and the team and the technology and the car development has really come a long way. So it's very cool to jump into the modern car that they have today and, and go out and race flat out. I've really enjoyed that so far. Yeah, it feels great to, to race against Travis again. This guy. I don't, so like you win a race, like you should get to do cool stuff. So I, I know, I had stuff. Like Throughout our career of racing rally, I was uh, the first to win a national event, but he was the first to win a national championship. And then he just proceeded to beat me in all the national championships after that. And I, at that time, I, I, I didn't really care that much about kind of the big picture wins and all that sort of stuff. I was more about learning and trying to drive it as flat out as possible. And because of that, I kind of had a few more crashes than he did, uh, a few more DNFs that were kind of silly, but it was a big part of my learning process. I just wanted to go as fast as I could. And then he, he kind of went off and did some things. I went off and raced WRC and World Rallycross. So it's fun to be coming back and racing him again. You get to do it when you win. I've matured a lot since those early years and understand the nuances of rally much better. And, how to push myself and push the car in a much smarter way. So I'm hoping that I can battle this year or sometime in the future for that title. So that's why I'm here. I do enjoy going out and just driving and racing and trying to win anything, you know, event that we can go into. But that overall title is something that has eluded me so far and we'll keep trying. This is a really exciting moment for uh for all of us that are, are fans of Subaru and Rally, uh, to have Ken back in a Subaru, even if he's you know running as a Hoonigan Racing Division entry, uh, but to be it to be a Vermont Sports Car built car, to have it be a Subaru, having that Subaru badge on the front, uh, it's a big deal. And there's a great built-in rivalry between Travis and Ken that that goes back to 2005, 2006. Uh, so those those guys are having a good time, hopefully. And uh, I think Ken's excited to learn a new car. 
So it's, it's going to be very interesting to see what uh, these Unigate Racing Division guys can do in the car versus what we do over on, uh, on Team Blue. I'm, I'm a rally fan. I've been a rally fan as long as I can remember. And uh, I think a lot of us, especially those of us that are fans of, of Subaru, we look back to that 2005 to 2010-ish era uh, as a time for real growth in the sport and a time where uh, Subaru in the U.S. kind of became synonymous with uh, with rally and with the American Championship, even though uh, that was kind of the, uh, the the end of the era in WRC. So I think this is kind of a coming full circle for a lot of enthusiasts like myself that were young at that time and are happy to see some of those things starting to happen again. And uh, rally tends to, to go in waves in the U.S. It has er uh, periods of popularity and periods where it's not not quite as successful. Uh, but it seems like we're really going through a, a positive period right now for the sport and for Subaru. Yeah, at this point in my career, I really wanted to come back and race in America. I've traveled the world doing lots of different events, and I really enjoy the U.S. Championship. I think there's a, a really strong entry right now in the championship. I think the championship events and the organization are doing very well. Uh, and I saw just a great thing for me to step back into racing here uh, with some great high-level competition. I could pick any kind of car, but part of the, the process of picking a car is the team and the availability of parts and the performance of the car. There is a lot of great opportunities, but for me, I saw working with Vermont Sports Car again and their car just being something that I could step into and work with a great team and a great vehicle. Uh, and for me, it was one of the just easiest but best opportunities to go out and succeed. Unfortunately for this year, I uh, put myself in not so great of a position to win the championship. You know, I missed the first event. The second event I was in a car I'd never driven before. So I've, I've got a very unique year this year with racing seven of the ARA events, then the, the rally in East Africa and the Porsche, and then as I come back from that and go straight into the Baja 1000. So it's really quite a wild year, uh, but I'm stoked to be doing all these things. But Winning the championship this year is definitely going to be a challenge, but we're, we're going to go for it and see what happens.